blessings or curses upon those who brought benefits or harm to the forests and mountains. They don't seem so bad. Aswang as a type of familiar, not so much a similar creature. Wow, for real? No Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. You guys know it is, man. It's Kevo, man. Okay, okay, so we're doing a reaction today. The top mythical creatures in the Philippines, part two, man. I did part one before you guys want to that guys told me to check it out a while ago. So now you guys are saying, yo, Kevo, gotta do part two, man. So like, you know what? I'm gonna do part two. So, anyways, man, if you guys want me to do like a reaction, you guys know what you guys gotta do, man. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram, man. It's it's Kev's life underscore. I know it's Kev's life underscore. I gotta change that. Let me know if I should change my Instagram name to like it's Kev's life or something. Let me know in the comments down below. But for right now, it's it's Kev's life. So please go check me out over there. And let me know what videos you guys want me to check out. Okay. So anyways, we're about to get into this video right now. So uh, let's go. Mythical creatures in the Philippines. A lot of you guys told me video, these actually. I showed you the top ten mythical creatures in the Philippines, and some want another video of this topic. Yeah. If you don't watch that yet, you can check it out down in the description below. So without further ado, here it is. 10 Mythical Creatures Features. in the Philippines. Part 2. Number 10. Number 10. Buffy Bot. Buffy Bot? The Buffy Bot is a vengeful spirit. These spirits are blamed as the cause of the fatal nocturnal disease called Nightmare or Sudden Unexplained Nocturnal Death Syndrome. Wow. A butty butt takes the form of a huge, old, fat creature that resides in trees. They punish people who cut the tree to where they dwell. The butty butt migrates into holes found in the posts and gets particularly cranky when someone dares to sleep near it. Wow. The butty butt will transform and sit on the chest of its victim until he suffocates. The only way to escape her is to press hardly the thumb toe of that human sleeping on it. Really? Number 9. Bowl Bowl. Thumb to an undead ball, monster ball. that steals corpses whether it is in a funeral or grave and feeds on them. It has a strong sense of smell for dead human bodies. It also has claws and teeth sharp enough to rip the clothing wow. of the dead. Since it eats nothing but corpses, it has a foul breath. Once this monster has spotted and eaten the corpse, it will leave the trunk of a banana tree in the coffin creating an illusion of the stolen body to trick people. Wow, Number I did not eight. know that. That's kind of scary. Dead. A crossbreed between goat, dog, and kangaroo said to suck blood out of its victims from shadows. The Sigbin are usually invisible to its victims, but the humans can usually tell Sigbin's presence from its strong and very unpleasant smell. Oh my this God. creature resembles that of a hornless goat, and is connected to the Aswang as a type of familiar, not so much a similar creature. Wow, for real? Number 7. Sirena. Sirena is a legendary mermaidic creature with the head and upper body of a female human and a tail of a fish. Looks like a mermaid to Mermaids me. appear in the folklore of many cultures worldwide, including the Near East, Europe, Africa, and Asia. I would love to see a mermaid actually. And tourists. Sirenas are reportedly often seen ashore by fishermen, especially in the towns bordering the Pacific Ocean. Is that Nami from Number League of Legends? Chalk Boy. Yeah, boy. Sea creatures with fish-like bodies and long, green tentacles that drown mortals. They are oh, wow. rare sea creatures that have a human form and scale bodies. Dota. It is the male counterpart of the Sirena. The lower extremities of a Philippine woman can either be a fish tail or scaled legs and webbed feet. They could also have long, green tentacles. They drown mortals for food. Like, I don't know, like, I play a lot of Dota, like, before Dota and League of Legends. This character, or this right here, is, like... That's where I actually probably base the game Dota, like the character from, from this myth. That's why I put, I put two and two together. And the other one looks like uh, Nami. Anyone know, like any of you guys actually play like League of Legends or anything? You guys should know Nami. That kind of remind me of Nami. Food. They have gill slits, are color brown or green, and have scaly skin, comparable to that of a fish. Wow. Number five. Is a giant cyclops in Philippine folklore. This giant is described as is always laughing. The literal meaning of the name means to giggle. The Having giggle? a humanoid shape, it has large teeth which are always showing, and its upper lip covers its face when it is thrown back. 
two long tusks project from the side of its mouth. The cyclops only eye is found in the middle of its forehead, but this is compensated by its strong sense of hearing. It has also displayed unusual strength. Wow. Number four. That's kind of scary. Iwata. Iwata or Iwata is an environmental spirit with the ability to take on human form or forest spirits. Mostly females who dwells in trees, mountains, seas, etc. Also believed to be gods or demigods. These spirits were invoked ritually for positive crop growth, health, and fortune. However, they were also considered to be able to incur illness or misfortune if not wow. given proper respect. Is that real? They were said to reside in large trees and were understood as the guardian spirits of nature, casting blessings or curses upon those who brought benefits or harm to the forests and mountains. That don't seem so bad. This one. Number 3. Encanto. Encanto. Encanto have been looking, taller than ordinary humans. They live in large trees. A male Iwata is coined as Encanto, but they are a totally different race. They are believed to be malevolent and physically attractive, having light color hair and fangs. It resides primarily near the sea or any body of water. water. It is customary for Filipino fishermen to offer meat and other delicacies to the Encanto by throwing them into the sea, after a day's bountiful catch. Number 2. Kamakatok Kamak Ketok is a three-hooded spirit that knocks on a door which signals that someone will die the other day after. One of them resembles that of a female, and the what? other two looks like old people. There's one point in time when residents of Luzon and Visaya is painted white cross or right across using a white chalk on their doors to scare or to ward off these trio. What? And That's scary. One, walk walk. Walk walk is assumed to grab humans at night as its prey. It also can fly. It likes to hunt in the rural areas of the Philippines. The walk walk has no ability to separate its torso from its body. Some people believe that it is a night bird that belongs to a witch. The walk walk makes a sound by flapping its wings while flying. The sound that it produced is typically linked to the presence of a vampire or ghost or monster. The walk walk sound also indicates that it is searching for victims. When the sound is loud, it means that it is far from you. If not, then it is near you and ready to attack. The walk walk rips and maims its victims and then feeds on their hearts. Wow. Old folks describe the walk walk as creatures with long sharp talons and a pair of wings just like bats. Its talons or claws are used in slashing its victims in order to retrieve their hearts. What? The walk walk? The walk walk. Oh man, like, I don't know. Some of these creatures, man, honestly, the Philippines. <laughs> like, sometimes it just amazes me, honestly. Amaze is me. Like, amazes me. So many, like, so many things that goes on in the Philippines. Like, so many different things. Not from just the beauty of the people, everything. But the creatures of the Philippines. Like, I personally have been in the Philippines, like, maybe, like, what, two months, three months? And I've yet to see any any kind of thing like that. But, I, like, some of these things, I kind of think I really hope I never do get the chance to run into something like this. I don't know how many people actually, like, ran into these kind of creatures and saw these creatures. I really want to know, like, down below in the comments, how many people actually know someone or have seen any of these creatures down below like let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys have actually seen these creatures man because some of these creatures are like really good like the ones that the, the, the kind of looks like fairies they're really good the trio the one that knocks on your door that is scary that's one i do not ever want to see knocking on my door like in, i don't want to knock on my door and then knowing someone else is gonna die the next day or even the other what's the other one the, the fat one that sleeps on your chest and kills you in the night what what that, that is some scary, like, some scary stuff right there, man. I hope I never, like, encounter, like, these ones. I don't mind the, the good ones, but all the bad ones, nope. I do not ever want to encounter those, man. Honestly. But it's, like I said, it's amazing, like, all these creatures and these folktales. And I don't know if they're real. I don't know if they're not. not but, like I say, sometimes folktales have 
some you know like truth to them i know that because it has like someone somewhere along the line must have actually seen them but do we see them now like are they still like around now that's the question let me know in the comments down below if they're still around now all right anyways man if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video you guys know what to do give the video a big thumbs up if you guys absolutely love the video man hit that subscribe button man don't forget to go check out my instagram page please go check out my instagram page go subscribe go follow me on instagram it's it's kev's life underscore so it's kev's life underscore go check me out over there please go follow me and you know what we'll catch you guys in the next one have a good night peace